Hey, what's going on? I'm Keen. Today, we're gonna go over some Laravel introduction to help you get started. So, by the end of this video, uh, we will know what is Laravel all about, and I promise you will get more excited in creating uh, web applications and APIs using Laravel. So, stay on the line and let's get started. Laravel, the PHP framework for web artisans. So before we are going to dig deeper into the coding part of the Laravel, it is important first to know what is Laravel, how does it work, and what are the features. Okay, so what is Laravel? Laravel is a web development framework that is created by Taylor Otwell. So instead of hard coding every line to make your web applications, so Taylor Otwell, the creator, decided to make a framework. And this framework provides you with commonly used functions and APIs. So Laravel is mainly built with PHP. So as we know, PHP is a uh, back-end programming language. And also, Laravel was based upon Symfony components. So what is Symfony? So Symfony is a set of reusable PHP components and a PHP framework for web projects. But Laravel eases some of commonly executed tasks like routing, authentication, sessions, caching, and others so that developers can focus on building business-related features of the app. So that's how Laravel was created or built. So this is the question for everybody so is laravel front end or back end so to answer that question simply laravel is a back end for a longer explanation laravel is as noted above a php framework that sits server side using laravel you can develop full stack web applications meaning it has capabilities to support both front end and back end work see this illustration below so on the back end we have the web framework so mind you guys there are a lot of web frameworks uh, existing right now so like symphony cake php code igniter and what else so i can't recall the others the back end side we have the web framework programming language and also database is under in our back end and also the web server and operating system so in the front end side, we have the JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. So it means JavaScript can be embedded with PHP Laravel. So here are top five Laravel features. First, we have the Blade Template Engine. So what is this? Laravel comes equipped with a Blade Template Engine, which is simple but very powerful compared to other PHP templating engine. Simply, this uh, blade templating engines, uh, so this will make our code uh, beautiful or simpler and easier. Uh, it allows us to retrieve data from our uh, controller from the Laravel easily and in a cleanly manner. So, like for example, here, so we are returning the view with the page of this. So, we have the welcome page. And we assign a variable called name that has a value of this one in Allen. So, like for example, we want to get the name in our view. So, we are going to do this like this. As you can notice, I am calling the name. So, where was this name came from? So, the name came from, from our controller or from our uh, route. So as you can see, I, I, will, I declared the name variable here that has a value of this one, Keen Allen. So if we are going to use that one, so let's just use the double bracket. So this one's the double bracket means to echo or to display something. So take note that the blade template engine must have the extension name that blade.php, else the templating will not work. So that's the first. Uh, feature of our Laravel the templating engine which is the blade so the second one is the eloquent 
O R M. So what is that? Laravel includes eloquent an object relational mapper that makes it enjoyable to interact with your database. So this eloquent ORM feature is very uh, helpful. So this uh, allow us to save time in querying uh, in databases or tables. So it gives us a human readable uh, code. So when using eloquent, each databases table has a corresponding model that is used to interact with the table. So for example, we have a table in our database called the fruits, fruits which contains of uh, different uh, fruits. So that fruits, or I mean that table should have a corresponding model. So like for example, let's take a look in the code below. So as you can see, I have a model fruits. So if we want to get the fruits or the color is yellow, see so we will just do this fruits where color yellow. I ordered it using the name. So default, uh, it is ascending. So I only get the first 10 records. So that is what is eloquent ORM. So it provides us a cleaner way and a readable way to retrieve or query databases. So the third one is the MVC architecture. So what is MVC? So Laravel is an MVC-based PHP framework that ensures a tight separation between presentation layers and business logic. So MVC stands for Model, View, and Controller. So this is the most common architecture for the uh, web frameworks right now, the MVC architecture, okay? So this will provide us a cleaner and more readable uh, code structure. So it is a design pattern that separates the model, logic, or data handling, view, or the UI, and controller processes. So take a look at the illustration. We have three uh, figures below, the model, controller, and view. So let's start with the view first. So this is the web browser, or this is what the user sees. So for example, when I click the button, so that button will correspond to a controller. And that controller will filter the model or which data to be query. So from view, it will go to controller, and the controller will identify which model should I interact with. For example, we are interacting the fruit model. So the model will return the data to the controller and the controller will send back the data to the view. So our view now is updated. So simple as that. So the fourth uh, features of Laravel is open source and wide community. Though many PHP frameworks come with a price tag, Laravel is an open source framework for web developers. Also, it has a powerful community that supports the framework to make it more advanced and flexible. So Laravel is a widely used PHP framework right now. If you have some problems, you can easily get uh, help from the community out there. And also, this is a open source, meaning we can use it anytime, anywhere, without paying. So the last one is object-oriented libraries. So uh, that's all for now. So. For the next video, we will start the Laravel basics. Just keep in touch and thanks for watching.